Hello everyone, this is topic 3.3, solids, liquids and gases. This is taken from AP Chemistry College Board. So in this video, we will be talking about different states of matter, which are solids, liquids and gases. Already you have learned a lot about these in your lower classes also, but here we'll be doing a little bit more than that. So let's start. So first of all, the main difference between the solid, liquid and gases is in solids, the particles are tightly packed. They are so close to each other that they cannot move. In liquid, the particles are a little bit loose packed, but they are not that much loose that they can move freely all over. In gases, the distance between the particles is very large and they can move freely in the container. This difference is due to the intermolecular forces between the particles. So in solid, the intermolecular forces is the highest and in the gases, they are the lowest. And the properties which we have learned in the lower classes are solid has a definite shape and volume. Liquid doesn't has a definite shape, but it has a definite volume and gas neither has definite shape nor a definite volume. Let's see more of the properties of solids, liquids and gases in coming slides. First of all, let's see the properties of solids. I already told you that the, one of the property of solid is it has a definite shape and it has a definite volume. It does not flow. And apart from that, it is impossible to compress the solids because the particles are so tightly packed that there is no space between the particles and it becomes difficult to compress it. Next property of solid is it expands if heated but usually less than liquids and gases. So the particles in solids are strongly bonded to each other as I told you the intermolecular forces is highest in the solids. They vibrate a little but not much compared to liquids and gases. As you saw in the previous slide also that the particles vibrate a little but not that much. Another property of particles in solids are they vibrate faster when heated. So what happens is when we heat a solid, the particles, they gain some energy and that is why they start vibrating faster. Depending on the arrangement of the particles, the solids can be classified into two types. One is crystalline solid and another is amorphous solid. So in crystalline solid, the particles are arranged in a regular three-dimensional structure. As you can see here that there is a particular arrangement which is repeating again and again. This is the structure of crystalline silica, which is also called as quartz. The second type of solid is amorphous solid. So in amorphous solid, the particles do not have a regular orderly arrangement. As you can see here, here you can see a star shape, but in other part of the structure, you cannot see the same thing. So this is basically the structure of amorphous silica, which is also called as glass. So these were the two types of solids depending on the arrangement of the particles. Let's see the second state of matter, which is liquids. So the properties of liquids are it doesn't have a definite shape as I told you earlier also. It can flow to take the shape of the bottom of a container. For example, if you keep a liquid in this type of glass or you keep the same liquid in a bottle, so it will take the shape of that bottle. That is why it is said that it can take the shape of the bottom of the container. The third property of liquid is it is very difficult to compress, virtually incompressible. So it is same as the solids that here also it is difficult to compress because although there is a little bit space between the particles, but it is not that much that you can compress it. The particles in liquids are weakly bonded to each other. Intermolecular forces in liquids is little bit weaker than that as compared to in solids. The second property of particles in liquids are they break their bonds easily. Again, as the intermolecular forces are weaker, so that is why the bonds can be broken easily. The third one is they vibrate and move more than those in a solid. As you saw in the first slide also that the particles were moving a little bit more as compared to that of the, of the solid. 
the last property of particles is they move faster when heated it's again the same thing when you heat the liquid they gain some energy and they start moving faster so we know that the particles are moving in liquid but this movement and arrangement is influenced by the nature and the strength of forces obviously when the forces are strong then they would not be able to move easily the strength of the forces between the particles and it is also influenced by the temperature as the temperature would increase the movement of the particles would also increase and this will distort the arrangement of the particle it is said that the solids and liquids have similar molar volumes because in solids there is no space in between the particles but in liquids there is very little space between the particles so that is why their molar volumes are almost the similar but water is an exception to this the molar volume of water is lesser than the molar volume of ice according to the properties of liquids they should have similar molar volume but it is not so so this is because when we freeze the water the strong hydrogen bonds in the water lock the water molecules into a hexagonal structure as you can see here due to this hexagonal structure there is a space left between these hexagons and these spaces basically increases the molar volume of ice so that is why water expands as it frees because of these spaces in between and solid water has a larger molar volume than liquid water now comes the third state of matter which is gases the properties of gases is it doesn't has a fixed shape and it spreads to completely fill a container as you can see here that when you fill a container with a gas it will spread out in the whole container these gases are easily compressed because there is a lot of space between the particles so they can be easily compressed gas particles are free having no bonds between them because the intermolecular forces in gas particles is the minimum they have much more energy than those of a solid and liquid that is why they are vibrating faster fly around bouncing off each other and the walls of their container so as the particles are moving fast so they hit each other as well as they hit the container also as i told you that there is a collision between the particles as well as the particles with the wall the frequencies of this collision and the average spacing between them are dependent on temperature pressure and volume so when we will increase the temperature the particles collision will be more because the particles would be having more energy as the pressure is increased the particles are compressed and that is why the collisions would also increase the third thing is volume if we will increase the volume then there will be less number of collisions because then the particles would be far away from each other the particles are too far apart to have intermolecular forces as i told you before also the intermolecular forces in gases is the minimum now let's see this question the lewis electron dot diagrams for molecules of methane that is ch4 and ccl4 are shown here so this is the lewis diagram of ch4 this is the lewis diagram of ccl4 the ccl4 in liquid state is placed in a previously evacuated container at 30 degrees celsius and some of the ccl4 liquid evaporates so what is happening is the ccl4 is placed in a container and it starts evaporating in the box below draw a particular diagram to show the species in the container after some of the ccl4 has evaporated we need to draw a particular diagram in which we need to show the evaporation also the phases of the species should be indicated by the spacing and the distribution of the particles in the diagram some of the species shown in the region will not be used so this is the species which we need to draw here Uh, so all of these species will not be used in the diagram 
the first one which is shown is ccl4 this is cl2 molecule this is chlorine atom and this is carbon atom we need to sh uh, show the particulate diagram in which there will be some ccl4 as a liquid form and some has evaporated so how will we draw this so this is the particulate diagram in which the liquid state you can see that the molecules are at the bottom of the container the molecules are not very much closely packed and they are not very much far off from each other so this is the ccl4 in liquid form we also need to show some evaporation for that uh, what i have done is i have shown some molecules above the liquid phase which can show that some of the liquid is actually evaporating as this is a gaseous phase so that is why the molecules are a little bit more far apart from each other and they are not arranged in a particular fashion the learning objective of this topic was represent the differences between solid liquid and gas phases using a particulate level model so i showed the particulate level model for the solids as well as liquids and gases and apart from that on the basis of that model i also explained the differences between these states of matter please like and subscribe to the channel log iota and press the bell icon